that time of year again, folks. Call of Duty season. Mike Mahardy and Aaron Sampson are here to tell us all about the Black Ops 3 beta, which uh, we got a kind of a like 24 hours early access on. I know. 48, 48 maybe? 48. Eric Tay, I know, spent last night basically leveling up to. Too long. To yeah. That all night. Well, you got to level 28, was it? Yeah, we're not sure if that's the cap yet, but that's like the soft cap. That's his for cap. Him. Yeah. That's his, when he his, falls asleep. His goal was to unlock the killer bee swarm. Okay. He got there. Which he did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Killer uh, bees. We'll talk about killer bees in just a second. Who doesn't like talking about that? Uh, first of all, Mike, the specialist. This is a sort of a new aspect to the series. Um, tell us about the characters that you played, how you the sort of how you unlock them and how they work in the game. Sure, yeah, I think this is one of the major editions, if not the major edition, of Black Ops 3. So they're essentially these, these characters, I mean, they affect how you look, but that's minor. But they also, each of them has these two abilities. And one is usually a weapon of some sort, um, and the second one's more of a tactical ability, kind okay. of. So you pick, so say you pick Ruin, or um, a lot of people have been using um, the Outrider, because mm. you start off with four in the beta, then you can unlock two more at least. Um, but there's Ruin, they're very, they, their super powers are kind of like destiny abilities, right. so they have, uh, yeah, Ruin, the first one you can use, he has this um, like gravity spikes jumping ground pound attack. Okay. Titan Smash. Titan Smash. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's the Seraph, which you, is the fifth unlock in the beta, and she has like the Hunter's Golden Gun, which is just one hit kills. Um, that was okay. one of my favorites, it was like a revolver, uh, you know, the, not the highest fire rate, but it was mm. one hit kill, so if you're accurate enough. Um, and then, you know, the Outrider has the Sparrow Longbow, which is just explosive arrows, but they also have those secondary abilities, which the um, Outrider has this, the Vision... Vision sphere, Pulse. Vision Pulse, and it just, for like three seconds, will highlight through walls, anybody in the area, mm. which way they're facing. Uh, it's kind of like what the spectator mode looks like if you're not playing, but... Probably the most interesting one so far, though, is Prophet's Glitch. Yeah, that one's awesome, and Rob got really good at it. Which you pop the ability, and it rewinds your last couple of moves. Okay. So you can run into... We're still trying to, like, wrap our head around this thing, but, like... You could run into a room, drop a grenade, and then teleport backwards out of the room. This sounds like a lot like, like I know it's the same company now, but Tracer from Overwatch yeah. does yeah. the same thing sure. where you're able to like backtrack the whole way. Yeah, uh, so at one point when I was using it, I was up kind of this elevated roof. I sprinted down, someone came around a corner, I used it, and I ended up back on the roof and then sniped them. <laughs> <laughs> what actually really happened is I missed and someone else killed me, but I like to imagine <laughs> I sniped them. But, um, and then Rob was around a corner. I was right behind him when we were playing on the same team. Hmm. Someone was shooting at him. He used it to go back to where we were, and I kind of killed the person. Sweet. So every once in a while, that creates some pretty awesome, like, holy shit moments. So it worked really well. But, yeah, the specialist class in general, these powers, you know, they have, like, charge times, and there's certain perks that decrease those charge times. Hmm. They really do affect how you build your classes, like what weapons you use, um, how you tailor it to your play style. Hmm. Um, so but, are, you, are you always playing as a specialist? Is that basically what you do when you Yeah, so you in? always have uh, at least one ability active. You, uh, you can only be one specialist at a time, and you can only have one of their hmm. uh, options active. So I right believe the they also longbow. talked about how certain modes even limit the number of certain specialists. Right. Yeah, the giraffe, specialist draft, will it be? Or is yeah. That like an, so yeah, people can, as of now, you can have like four outriders in a match, two ruins, right. but later on in the certain competitive matches, if you take that ability, no one else can use it. Okay, interesting. Dota style, yeah. picking out your loadout before yeah. uh, before a match. It's a, it's not in this, but the stream that they did had one of the more interesting mechanics I've seen in a long time, which was the ban protect system. Yeah. Where you can actually vote in that to get rid of something your opponent is using and yeah. protect something that you're using. But so, but like Dota is again kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah the banning system. Yeah. That's weird. It's, um, it's, so when you're playing the game, do you at a distance know who you're fighting? Like, can you? figure out who the other specialist is sure. by looking at them. Because presumably, yeah. knowing what they can do is key to killing them, right? Exactly, yeah. So I don't know if people have noticed a few times during this gameplay, um, the gun will just start, you'll start glowing red. And that means that the Outrider just used their uh, vision pulse ability. Right. So they know exactly where you are. So whenever I saw that, I was like, I'm either about to die, but I'm going to try to make a break for it because they are always going to have the upper hand on mm. me. Um, when, you know, when Prophet uses glitch and goes backwards, I kind of look for where they came from to yeah. be expecting them to come through the same doorway <laughs> twice in a row. So it's definitely just as useful to know how other people are going to use it as well as how mm. you're going to offensively use it, which is a cool dynamic um, as far as, you know, like considering other people's moves as opposed to your own. Mm. So it's really interesting um, as far as those go. Uh, a lot of comparisons, obviously, to games like Titanfall, um, to uh, Destiny as well. Uh, last year with, with Advanced Warfare, we saw a game that was very much like 
Titanfall in terms of movement and whatnot, perhaps maybe even sort of more futuristic and more variable than Titanfall. Aaron, how does this one feel? Does it feel more like Advanced Warfare? Does it feel more like a Black Ops game normal? What's the movement like? system in this game is chasing after Titanfall mm. more than Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare had, I think what Chris Waters described as very staccato movement. Yeah. It was very jerky. Some, some people loved it, some people hated it. This one, it's got wall running. It doesn't do wall running as well as Titanfall. Mm. I'm always a big fan of if you're gonna rip somebody off, like do it better than them. <laughs> right, Jack. You know, like do it, do do something new or do something better than the last guy. In this case, the wall running feels a little tacked on. There's some very specific routes you can take, mm. but they usually end in dead ends. What is this nonsense happening it's a here? Hellstorm, right? It's a score streak, yeah. It so puts like, his hands out like, like, the, like <laughs> yeah. he's praying or something. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. Future <laughs> yeah. arm laptops, but yeah, I mean. The, the wall running is, it's okay. It's, the routes aren't as good as Titanfall. Titanfall, you were learning, as long as you played Titanfall, you could learn a new route. Yeah. There was always a route you didn't know. This one, a couple rounds on a map, you know the routes. The routes dead end and just drop hmm. you onto the map at certain places. One so. of the things I really liked about Titanfall was the, the sort of how long your lives were and how, how well, it wasn't just like a, like you say, like a short time to kill. What, what's, uh, this game feel like in comparison to that? Do you have longer lives? Is it more like Call of Duty? The time to kill is marginally longer, so you're actually having gunfights in this game, which I like. Advanced you know, warfare. I feel like you would just come around a corner, your body would hit the ground before you could even register you'd been hit. Right, yeah. And then you would respawn before like you even knew what happened. So it was just this really weird like non-gunfight mechanic of mm. whoever shot first. This one, you do actually get into those strafing gunfights. Mm. And if you're both wall running, you have that Titanfall moment <laughs> where you're both like trying to shoot and then one of you makes a mistake and just falls off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's better moments in this one, I think, because of the longer time to kill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How long's the beta running for? Um, for people who pre-ordered it, it's tomorrow, Wednesday the 19th, I think, until Sunday the 23rd, yeah. whatever Sunday is. All weekend. And you guys have been playing, obviously, for, for sort of like a day and some change. Sure. Uh, Aaron, first of all, what's, what's your take on this? Is this type of game? Do you, did you play much Advanced Warfare? Is this the type of game that will pull you back into Call of Duty, or is it not scratching that itch? I think it's doing more of what I'd like to see in Call of Duty, which is, again, just actually having gunfights. Mm. But that being said, you know, anytime the camera pulls out and I see the larger map we're playing in, I just want these maps to be bigger. I mean, like, take... <laughs> just the battlefield like, player in you. Take, just... take a chance, just, like, <laughs> add a couple more players and make your maps a little bigger. Because they're small, you, especially in Team Deathmatch, you're always contending with a spawn flip, which always yeah. means there's somebody shooting you in the back. Like, if you're in the middle of the map, I guarantee you're going to get shot in the back because <laughs> somebody's going to spawn behind you. And if they had slightly larger maps, they could probably avoid that. Yeah, maybe a Halo 5 Guardians will scratch that itch for you. Uh, yeah, Mike, what do you feel about it? Um, yeah, I, I like what it's taking from Advanced Warfare in terms of the movement. It definitely feels like a less pared-down version of that and more, you know, obviously Black Ops combined with Titanfall, just mm. not doing either to an extreme. Um, I think the Specialist being the major edition is interesting enough to pull me back in, but after you play for about an hour, it still feels like Call of Duty again. Mm. The last eight we've played, um, it's got me hooked, it, I won't lie. And it's so hard to like try and figure out how those systems are working when you're playing like the first two days of an yeah. online shooter, because like two weeks down the road, it's like a completely different bowl game. Yeah, right? and so the fact that there are so few people playing when we were playing, it was kind of always team deathmatch. Right. So I was looking forward to trying out hardcore mode to see how different weapon loadouts would work mm. and how different abilities would work. Um, and you know, like I. Don't know that they're bringing Hardpoint back from Advanced Warfare yet, mm. um, but I, I'm just interested to see how those specialist abilities will not only affect how I'm building classes, but how I'll build different classes for different game modes as well. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Mike and Aaron, thanks so much for coming on. Thank uh, you. Talking to us all about the Call of Duties. Uh, Black Ops 3 is out later this year, and the beta is running up until Sunday. Uh, and also, if you're watching right now, you can win yourself. A key to the beta. We're giving them away. Hopefully on there it is. Uh, Josh saw so sorting me out. For a chance to win, go to tinyurl.com forward slash COD giveaway. Really? No one had COD giveaway? Tiny That's amazing. Idiots. COD giveaway. Go there right now. You can win a beta code for the Sony PlayStation Gaming System 4. Uh, this is only for US people because uh, we hate Europe. No time for Asia. And I don't think anyone's watching in Africa, so... Uh, no, it's because the keys are American, sorry. Uh, North American. North American or US only? US 
only. US only. Take that, Canada. Um, <laughs> so if you want in on that, go to tanyroll.com forward slash COD giveaway and uh, do whatever things they ask the, you to do on the page and then you can win. How about that? Cool. You want to go play some Call of Duty, boys? I probably will.